Unit Three, Page Twenty Five, Listening Skills, Exercise Five. You will hear a conversation between a customer and a shop assistant. You will see that there is an example which has been done for you. On this occasion only, the conversation relating to this will be played first. Good morning, madam. Can I help you? Yes, please. I bought this bread-making machine from you quite a while ago, and it doesn't work. I see. That's unusual. These bread makers are usually very reliable. You didn't overfill it, did you, or put too much water in the mix? Those are two reasons for malfunction we often hear of. No, certainly not. I had it working for quite a while, and then it stopped working. It doesn't do anything now. I see. That sounds like a fault in the machine. Yes. I wonder if you can do anything about it for me. Well, that depends. If it is inside the guarantee period, we can help you. Otherwise, it will be more difficult. The assistant says it depends on whether it's inside the guarantee period. So, guarantee period is written in the space. Now we shall begin. You should answer the questions as you listen, because you will not hear the recording a second time. Listen carefully and answer questions one to five. Good morning, madam. Can I help you? Yes, please. I bought this bread-making machine from you quite a while ago, and it doesn't work. I see. That's unusual. These bread makers are usually very reliable. You didn't overfill it, did you, or put too much water in the mix? Those are two reasons for malfunction we often hear of. No, certainly not. I had it working for quite a while, and then it stopped working. It doesn't do anything now. I see. That sounds like a fault in the machine. Yes. I wonder if you can do anything about it for me. Well, that depends. If it is inside the guarantee period, we can help you. Otherwise, it will be more difficult. Let me see. I have the receipt here. I bought it in. Ah,、uh, huh, it was some time ago.、Uh, the receipt says in February last year. February. Well, unfortunately, that means it is outside the warranty period. Oh. In that case, I'll get you a form which you can fill in, and we'll see what we can do. Well, what can you do? Do you think? Well, as I say, if you fill in this form, we can send away the bread maker to be mended. It goes off to a repair center. Oh, good.、Uh, what happens then? Then we don't get an exact costing, but we will get back an estimate of how much it will cost and how long it will take. I see. And do you think it'll be expensive? Well, it won't be cheap. There will be labour and parts to think about, and also the postage and packing costs. And we don't know how much they will be. Not yet, but when you get the estimate, you've got two options. Obviously, if you agree, you can go ahead, or if you don't, you can say no. It's too expensive. It's your decision entirely whether you agree.、Mm. And if I go ahead, then we arrange the repair. We don't have much stock room, so when it is done, what we'll have to do is arrange a time for you to collect it from us. All right, that's what I'll do. Just give me the receipt. Here you are. Just a minute, madam. I, I thought you said you bought the bread maker in February. That's right.、Uh, here is the date: two twelve o six. I think there's some mistake. In the UK, two twelve o six is the second of December two thousand and six. Oh, of course! How stupid of me! Of course it is. So it's inside the warranty period. Oh, great! That's right. That's much easier. <laughs> so, what can you do now? Very simple. You fill in this form, we replace the machine, and return it to your home address within three days. Oh well, that's excellent. Unit three, page twenty-five, listening skills. Exercise six. Now listen and answer questions six to ten. Now let me have your details. Certainly. Now this is a Gleeware Bread Maker Three. Model number. Ah,、uh, I have it here. Two one seven. Two one seven. Nine eight zero. Nine eight zero.、Oh. Three four five. Thank you. Now, where did you buy it? Was it here?、Uh, no, it was in your shop in Blue Water. I see.、Uh, Blue Water. Now, date bought two twelve o six. Now, can I have your name? 
Yes, it's Young, J H Young. That's、uh, that's spelled Y O N G E. That's Young. I see. And your address? Fifteen, Caper Cayley Gardens, Aberdeen. Uh, I should know this. Can you tell me? <laughs> yes, it's C A P E R, then C A I double L I E. Sorry, could you say that again? <laughs> sure, C A P E R, C A I double L I E. And gardens, as in gardens. <laughs> Yes. Good. And the postcode. A D twenty two, four S C. Thank you. And what would be a convenient time of day to deliver the replacement bread maker? Oh,、uh, morning is best. If that's all right. That's fine. So it should be with you on Monday, madam. Oh, good. Thank you very much. Bye. Goodbye, madam. Unit three. Page twenty-seven. Speaking skills. Exercise five. Speaker one. I suppose that the main difference is that it's set up to be a lot more convenient. It's easy to go and park up at a supermarket and get all your shopping in one go. I know a lot of people don't approve of that. Nevertheless, from my point of view, it's a really good thing. I can save time. Speaker two. To my mind, we worry far too much these days about what things are wrapped in. It's all about marketing, really. Some customers expect to buy their toothpaste tube in a box, but what's the point? It seems to me that we need to change attitudes about this. Speaker three. Well, from my point of view, it's completely the opposite. It just gets me stressed, but. I know for a lot of people it's a form of leisure activity. They'd rather wander round a shopping centre than go to a park or the beach. Personally, I think it's a really odd attitude. Unit three, page twenty-eight, speaking skills, exercise twelve. A. In my view, there is too much advertising on television. B. To my mind, advertising is fun. C. It seems to me that advertising does more harm than good. D. My impression is that most advertising is misleading. Unit three, page twenty-nine, exam listening, section four. You will hear part of a lecture about product life cycles. Listen carefully and answer questions thirty-one to forty. I'm going to begin my lecture today with a look at product life cycles. Now, as we go through the product life cycle, I will be trying to raise some issues which are important with regard to each phase of the cycle. I won't have all the answers for you this morning. This one of the lecture series is just to get you started, and、uh, I hope interested. Let's start with the first phase of the cycle, that of product design. This is really the most important part of the cycle. We often talk as if it is consumers who are responsible for recycling, and so they are. But in reality, the major responsibility must be borne by designers. They can design products where recycling is easy and cheap, or difficult and expensive. In the latter case. The likelihood is that recycling, though technically feasible, will not in fact take place. Now, don't jump ahead because the second stage is not product manufacturing, but rather that of materials acquisition. This is the activity we do when we mine coal or other minerals such as gold or iron or copper. In addition to mining. There is harvesting, which includes the cutting down of trees as a first step in the making of furniture or paper, or fishing. These activities have costs, which are not only money costs. Pollution is one of the extra costs. 
We have also to think whether the resources we use are renewable, such as trees, or not, such as coal and other minerals. The third stage is not manufacturing either. It is materials processing. This is where we take the raw materials and use energy to change them into a form that can be used in manufacturing. Uh, for example, trees must be turned into paper or oil into plastic. The cotton plants that grow in the fields must be turned into cloth. All of these activities require the use of chemical processes and, as with all chemical processes, waste is produced, often of a dangerous kind. And now we come to the manufacturing stage. This is usually the most expensive in terms of cost and energy and waste. The wastes are often those that contribute to global climate change. For example, we make 41 billion glass containers, mostly bottles, each year, and we throw most of them away. A lot of manufacturing seems unnecessary if we could only organise things better. And this could mean greater profits for the manufacturing companies too. Stage 5 is packaging. Many products are packed in paper or plastic, which themselves, of course, have their own processes and costs. Excessive packaging is often criticised, but it must be remembered that packaging serves a purpose – often more than one purpose, such as maintaining freshness and hygiene, as well as providing information. In our globalised world, we must never forget the next stage, which is distribution. This is the stage where transportation and energy play a big part. Lorries, trucks, trains, planes and ships all use up the precious stocks of oil and, as we know, generate greenhouse gases which, as we hear again and again, contribute to climate change. Stage 7 is the point of it all – using the product. Looking after products, using them in the recommended ways, timely repair and maintenance all reduce the need for early replacement and reduce the number of products in landfill sites. We should not encourage the purchase of single-use products, that is, products which are designed for use on one occasion only and then to be thrown away and replaced. Um, I'm going to skip a stage for a moment and move straight on to the final stage, which is disposal, putting the product in the bin. This is the end of the life of the product and we lose it completely. It may have only a little value, but it does have a value even at this stage of its life, even in fact when it's actually in the landfill site. Now, I missed out one stage. This is a cycle within a cycle. That is, within the life cycle of the product, there can be a closed loop cycle which can extract more value from the product. This is the reuse and recycle loop. It is a closed loop because, in theory, it can continue forever, though in practice, of course, this is not possible. Recycling products mean that they can be used to make more of the same product uh, – CDs, bottles, books – or that they can be used to make different ones. For example, one pound of recycled paper can make six cereal boxes. And if we recycled all our newspapers, we could save 40,000 trees a day. Now, with this approach to the life cycle of a product in mind, we can go on to consider life cycle analysis.